Well, the sun has been shining brightly all day. Good to see that continuing as we get ready for the match here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal, and they take on Sheffield United. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Count Leno gets the nod in goal. Granit Xhaka plays with Mohamed Elneny in central midfield. And the main forward here is Alex Lacazette. Here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. It looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5 3 2 or 3 5 2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre backs, but it does enable you to play two strikers up front. The Enjoy the match. And the game begins. Well, the Kieran Tierney. Jacka with it. El Nenny. Good technique displayed. Well cleared away. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Well, I've been watching Pierre Emerick Aubameyang in various countries for a number of years, Lee. He rarely disappoints. Well, he's got amazing finishing ability. And when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you. So it puts the defender in two minds. It's with John Fleck. Good tackle. Hector Bellerin. Now William. Arsenal finding avenues to attack from. Now, what can they do from here? Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Xhaka! Arsenal were going for a goal, and they've got one. Well, they inflict a lot of pressure on the opposition, and that time, the opposition couldn't cope with it. Well, you can see it coming, Derek. They did a great job of moving the ball, pulling players out of position, and eventually found the space to finish it off. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. Goal for the Arsenal. Number 34, Granit Xhaka. Sharp. Now McBurney, well he was in the right place to intercept. This might have potential. Obama Yang. Shot attempted. Terrific block there. Now with Aubameyang. It's with William. Elneny with it. Aubameyang. And threading it forward. Michael Niles. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, sometimes goals happen on the training ground before the game. I'm sure they practice this. Great movement, great cross, perfect goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So, 2-0 now.
Looks promising this. Unable to find the back of the net and still a lot of work ahead of them here. Well, he probably surprised if he scored from there, but it is worth an effort. Basham in possession. Lundstrom. Well, possession seeded. Crossing possibilities. Jacker with it. Arsenal completely controlling possession. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Stevens. They've regained possession. An attack full of promise. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. He's in with a chance. The net is staring him in the face. Well, it's a procession of goals. And surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, as we see, counter-attacking football at its purest. Superb use of pace. A fabulous goal. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Lundström the and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time two minutes Maitland Niles time. Lacazette Arsenal passing it around neatly and swiftly what can they do from this position clattered away he takes aim Piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And he's fired over the corner. The first half here comes to an end. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? Basham in possession. Went in strongly, decisively. Elneny. Granit Xhaka. Xhaka. It's with John Fleck, Oliver McBurney. Lost it. El Nenny. Jaka. Lacazette here. Norwood. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get them all back for his team. Elneny, holding now. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Possession changes hands, the interception there. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Lundström. And he was in the right place to intercept. Lacazette. And he takes it on. A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. And a substitution in the offing.
He's driven in the corner. And options in the centre. Has a go. And how about that for reflex action? Perfect, perfect goalkeeper. He waited, he waited, and then look at him spring. And now the delivery. No keeper will mind that sort of corner. Now Lacazette. Jaka. And slipped through beautifully. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating that is. Look at that, spot on. Substitution time it is. They've given it away. It's with John Fleck. Read it magnificently and intercepted. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Just been a thoroughly cogent and convincing performance in this match, Lee. Creating and scoring goals is the hardest thing to do on a football pitch, I can tell you. Arsenal have ticked all the boxes for me in that department. Lovely to watch. And look at all the players. They've all got smiles on their faces. We love to see that. Only 10 minutes remaining here. A sloppy pass. Nicolas Pepe. Arsenal succeeding in getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he's very, very unlucky. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Now getting himself forward is Aubameyang. Can he make a count? Well, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. It's with John Fleck. The referee, the referee has decided that two additional minutes two are in order. Basham in possession. Berge. And there goes the final whistle. The cameras get up close and personal with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang with good cause. Well, what a great all round performance that was from the lad. His team won, he was quality throughout the side, but his decision making today was absolutely brilliant. Well played.